Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a first impressions on an eyeshadow palette for you guys. I haven't done a first impressions on an eyeshadow palette in a quick minute, but I recently got one in the mail. It's actually the Illamasqua Rose Gold Palette. This is what the box looks like. So I thought that I'll try this out on camera for you guys. I do believe that this is a Christmas edition palette. So I will show you guys what the actual palette looks like. It just looks like this. It's so reflective. It kind of looks like last year's cheek sculpting kit. It had, I think, five shadows or something like that. I did do a review of it, so I'll link it down below for comparison. It is the same size as that, but it is this gorgeous reflective rose gold packaging. On the back of the palette, it does say that there is 12 shadows and there is 1.5 grams in each shadow. So that's quite a nice amount. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. I just want to quickly put it out there that I haven't heard any reviews or any thoughts or opinions on it. I've only seen photos of the actual palette itself, not any swatches or anything like that. Honestly, how gorgeous are these colors? These colors scream my name. They're not super neutral, but I love them. They're like wearable color, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to be testing it out for you guys today. I guess I'll start off by swatching them. In this palette, there are nine matte shadows from what I can see. So three of them being shimmers and nine of them being matte. So I really, really, really like the distribution of matte to shimmer ratio. For me personally, I like to have a lot of definition with matte shadows and then just adding a shimmer shade on top just to add some dimension to the eye. That's personally how I love to do my eyeshadow so I really like this layout. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch the bottom row first so the one closest to the mirror and then I'll swatch the top row. So I'm first going to swatch this shimmery shade. So pigmented. These shades are so buttery. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, can you see that? Oh, so gorgeous. I'm going to swatch the bottom row now. Oh my goodness, can you guys see that? Oh my goodness, I'm so impressed so far. I hope they transfer as well onto the eye as they did onto my hand. By the way, these are just finger swatches without a base underneath, and I think they did do very, very well. I really enjoy the texture. They didn't feel really dry or anything like that, so fingers crossed. I'm going to start off by using this shade right here, and I'm going to put that in my crease just as a transition color. Oh yes, it's transferring so well. Could you see that? And I'm just using a Zoeva 221 brush. Now I'm going to take this color right here and work that through the crease as well. Oh my goodness, that's so pigmented. By the way, all the shades that I've used so far are matte. I'll tell you if they are shimmer. You need like hardly any product. And they are so blendable. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to grab a mixture of that white with that kind of off white shade mixed together. I'm going to highlight my brow bone. So I have noticed that with the, the matte shadows that I've used so far, they do pick up a lot of powder from the pan. So if that's an issue of yours, then bear that in mind. But for me, I don't really care as long as I don't have fallout. And I don't have any fallout as of yet. So I'm going to be taking this color right here and we're putting that in the crease. Oh my goodness. Like, yes, pigment. Yes, yes. I'm going to be honest, because they are very, very pigmented, they're a little bit hard to work with. But I think I will get used to them once I'm used to the formula and the pigmentation. Now, using my flat brush, I'm going to be going in with this rose gold shade right here. And I'm going to pat this on my lid. Okay, maybe that will be done better with my finger. Yes. Okay. The shimmer shade definitely works better with fingers opposed to that synthetic brush. Maybe if I wet it, it would be better, but I'm happy to use my fingers. I'm actually kind of scared to use the black because it's so pigmented, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to dip my brush in once into the black because it is so pigmented. I'm going to start off by taking this shade here. I'm going to run that along my lower lashes. 
Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this shade here. These shades do have names and they're all listed on the back, but I don't really know which one's which because they're all just in one line. I normally don't do looks like this, how it's like super, super, super dark, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the pigment went out of control for me and this is just what happened, but I do like it though. <laughs> I'm going to take a small detail brush and I'm going to go in with that light highlight shade and I'll pop it on the inner corner. I don't really like that shade as an inner corner highlight, to be honest. It's a bit too grey, but it is okay underneath the brow bone. What I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to go off camera and I'll apply my eyelashes and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts. Okay guys, so let's talk about thoughts and opinions on the palette. First off, let's talk about packaging. Packaging, I really do like. It is cardboard, same as last year's palette, and it is the same size and shape as last year's palette as well. I do like how it's this shiny rose gold packaging, but I do feel like it would get scratched quite easily because it is just plastic uh, or cardboard, I should say. But either way, whatever, that doesn't really matter. It's a product that counts for me. Um, it does have a mirror, so if you are traveling, that's good. Mine's just blurry because I haven't taken that film off yet because I never do that because I don't want the mirrors to ever get dirty. <laughs> Silly, right? Anyway, the shadows. Oh my goodness, it blows my expectations out of the water. I love how there's no fallout with the shadows. You do get a little bit of pickup with some shades, but not too much. And it's it doesn't create any fallout. So I'm happy with that. I don't mind. I feel like if you only use the bottom row, you would get a very nice light look. But if you did incorporate the top row, or the top row, bottom row, depending on how you look at it, this row, it will make your look look a lot more dark and a lot more nighttime, if you get what I mean. If you like that for every day, by all means, but for me, I'd probably stick to this row for every day, and then this row I would incorporate for nighttime. I really, really like the look that I created. I don't feel like the shadows were too hard to blend, and I feel like they did transfer onto the eye so well. The shimmery shades I do prefer to pack on with my finger, opposed to a brush, just because it gave the best color impact that way, and that's how I apply my shimmer shadows normally anyhow, so that wasn't a big deal for me. Yeah, overall, I really, really like this palette. I would recommend it if you do like these colors. Obviously, if you don't like purples or you don't like cool tones, maybe give it a miss because you do get so many cool tones in this palette. Like, you do get all those purples there. Like, if you do love warm tones, this probably isn't the palette for you, but if you do love experimenting with color or you like just the look of these tones in general, definitely give it a try. I really, really, really would recommend it. Even though it is quite expensive, it is Illamasqua, it is high-end, you are getting very, very high quality shadows. For me, I don't mind splurging a little bit more on higher-end makeup if it is exceptional quality, which I do feel like is this palette. I'm very, very happy with it. I'll definitely use it again. And yeah, I don't really feel like there's anything else for me to say. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave in the comments down below what you'd like to see from me next. And I will see you next time. Bye.